All right, uh, one more time. We've got the got the Variac here. Puts out AC volts up to 130 volts. Running it through an automotive diode. Converts it to DC. Got the uh, negative hooked up to a piece of wire. Twirled around in a solution of sodium carbonate, not bicarbonate, but sodium carbonate. Uh, got the plus end hooked up to it's going to be this piece of titanium here we're going to start off at a high voltage let's see if we can if we can get some color change here very axe on I'm going to bring it on up I started out at uh, 120 volts. We'll see if we can get any color out of it or get shocked or something. Here we go. Kind of a bluish color. Let's keep after it for a second, see if we We're looking for green at this voltage. But I'm not getting it almost a purplish color. Alright, let's bring the voltage down to 95. Of course when you put a load on it, it's gonna drop the voltage a little bit. Yeah, it's dropped down to 80 volts there. And this is real time. A lot of my videos are speeded up, but this is all going to be real time. It's a little warm, but the color is uh, kind of a pale purplish color. Let's go down to 70 volts. Of course, the reaction is a little, a little bit slower. Seek. Come here. I can't really tell you what color that is. Hush. All right, let's go down to. 55 volts. I think once you anodize it at a higher voltage, it's not going to change the color unless you. Uh, in other words, if you started at a lower voltage and went up, you might be able to change the color. But we'll see. It's just an experiment. Here we go. Solutions looking pretty crappy there too, but uh, can definitely change some colors. But I'm gonna have to do some more experimenting. Electro anodizing of titanium. Here we go.